everybody, welcome back to the Schmitzel Plays XCOM 2 Episode 6, I believe. Sus, welcome to my Let's Plays. Oh, I got the energy today. Yesterday, I did not have the energy. So, Episode 5 was the more mellow, mellow episode. I haven't even had coffee today yet. I just fuck. Oh, man. I'm trying to not say that word so much. <laughs> I just fucking woke up and uh, punched a baby and... Oh, like, man, I really want to play XCOM and record it. I didn't actually punch a baby. Don't think of me that way. Okay, engineering. You engineers. You're at the power relay. Can I buy more engineers? Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. No? Can you build me something? Could you build me... I don't want your armor. No. No, I don't. Okay, uh... Look at some of the advent weapons recovered from the field. The alloy used in their frames is significantly lighter, making them more suited to the human form. Woman, I swear, I swear, I swear. If you continue talking over me, but they'd have to be producing it from something here on. I will. They seem to have an endless. Put you in your place by putting you in the power relay because you're an engineer. Yeah, that's me putting women in their place. Okay, ah, uh, I'm being sexist and. Man, there's a very loud car just driving by. Hopefully you did not hear that. Hopefully my filters keep that noise out of my recording because I don't appreciate your noises, sir. Okay, so where are we going from here? Um, we need to scan, obviously. Uh, it did come to my attention while I was in between episodes that I do need uh, some more soldiers. Look at that. Um, <laughs> we have one unit to go on. Go on. Um, I like. Oh my god, how can we not recruit that guy? Caleb Wallace, uh, just because I have a friend with the last name Wallace. Hello, Josh. How are you doing today if you're watching this video? Which sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Okay, let's see. Uh, man, today is like, hey, let's drive our loudest trucks possible past Austin's house while he's recording today. And that's a great day to do, actually. Uh, we should celebrate that day every day because we hate Austin. I refer to myself in uh, third person. I'm just going to recruit some people. I really need people. I need some people. Um, also need to scan. Commander, we've got local resistance forces waiting to make contact, but we'll have to make the first move. Uh, supply drop. Yes. Scan, I say. Scan, sir! More supplies. Commander, to aid in your efforts, we have gathered additional resources and staff at Resistance Headquarters for your use. Setting course for Sector 9, Western United States. Recruit new staff? Uh, does this allow us to... Okay, well, the Avengers located here. Resistance HQ, actual medical staff. Cover injuries, fast. Ooh, that's pretty good. Um, I don't need you, sir. I would love a scientist, though, honestly. I believe this benefits us more right now because we're trying to expand our. Uh, Excuse me, I just like spit all over my microphone. Uh, we're trying to expand uh, Empire and, oh man, look at all these dudes. And I believe an extra scientist while we're out scanning will be quite a f dark events. I don't know. I don't know exactly what that means. If I should be paying attention to that more or if it's just kind of something that's kind of automated. However, Let's, I, dude, I need to get this episode done. I have a date to go on in about two hours. I'm not trying to rush you again. Uh, it is Valentine's Day when I'm recording this. So a day after my last episode, um, I need to build a backlog of videos. However, I'm a very, very busy person. And I, I say that like I'm not, but I actually am. I'm actually having trouble finding time to record these videos, which I never thought would be an issue because I'm just releasing one video a day. But these videos sometimes take way too long. Hello, Commander. 
It would seem your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent, from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met. I am so sorry if I skipped that cutscene. Uh, for some reason, my second monitor is not working properly, and, uh, that, uh, kind of sucks for me because I can't see my audio waves. Okay. Whatever that is, it sounds fucking terrifying, honestly. I'm gonna be, uh, frank with you here. Uh, that does not sound very cool, uh, whatever is going on over there. Um, can I view my research real quick, sir? Real quick. Um, Hello, Commander. Work is well underway, but it will be some time yet before my research is complete. Can I put these scientists? I'm pretty sure I can put these scientists on. Advent has made steady progress in convincing the remaining civilian populace to migrate to their city centers with the propaganda campaign. Providing a constant stream of Why does everybody have to talk so much? I, I mean, I get there's like a bunch of secretive operative stuff uh, going on here. I say we do it. I say we do this. And then maybe. Oh, it's almost the end of the month, too. And then maybe perhaps we shall uh, murder them. Yes. Mother. All right, everyone. Um, I'm actually okay with this. I don't want to be picky at all. Um, I feel like it's too early in the game, and I'm not playing like a long war version of the game, so it's not important that I spread the wealth when it comes to experience. As long as I keep my units alive and they don't die, I believe I'll do just fine. Let us begin this mission. We're gonna do it fast too. We're gonna be like, <laughs> I'm gonna be punching people. I'm gonna knock people out. It's gonna be great. I had the energy today, and you all will suffer because of it. Because I am a walrus. We talked about this. I'm a walrus. I'm a schmitzel. I am beyond all. Ooh, Mudway District in San Diego, Francisco. If that makes any sense at all, at all. Uh, I'm being very weird with my voice inflection today. I haven't even had coffee, and I just have this energy. I just, when I start doing these let's plays, it gets me hyped. I get really hyped, and I start punching things. Fucking knock things out. Oh, man, I'm so hyped. I'm sorry, it's the energy. It, it's beyond uh, my control anymore. Uh, I will no longer be afraid of you. Yes. I believe we shall move our sniper in a position that is beneficial toward our repertoire. Yes. Okay. So if we put him there, I believe that's a good spot. Uh, I think he could actually just probably stay there the entire game and do just fine. Yeah, he could. Um, we're going to put all our units in a good position, though. We're not going to allow them to just die this turn. Because if we even put them down there, they're going to reveal concealment, and that's not good. Okay. Oh, I have two snipers in this mission. Oh, ho ho! That was kind of a mistake on my part. I apologize. Will that kill him? I don't think it's worth revealing our concealment just so we can... I say... we do some overwatches here. Some overwatch -a. Position confirmed. Oh, ho, ho. Sir, you shall go in overwatch -a. And then you, sir, shall go in overwatch -a as well. Actually, I'm feeling kind of good about this uh, decision if 
Oh, man. I'm feeling really good about this. That's a pretty good shot, though. I'm just taking it. Screw it. It's gonna kill him. Let's be honest here. That's gonna murk him. Did not kill him. Uh, that is my bad. I could have just launched that grenade and probably done much more for us. There's that terrifying sound. Oh, that sniper just mucked him. Just mucked the shit out of him. Is everybody Gucci? There's an overwatch on my behalf. Three damage, that's actually pretty good. Um. Man. Oh, he's just stunned. Okay. I'm okay with that. That wasn't so bad. He's no longer stunned already. That's not bad at all. Uh, 75% chance for the sniper to just murder this dude. I believe your overwatch is actually more valuable since you're on that side of the map a little more. Um, oh, we had to go down there and protect something. We had to actually, we were, we should have not revealed uh, concealment <laughs> is what I'm just now discovering. Um, however, we will put our units in a way that allows them to uh, move down there and just be fine. So, we'll let this guy get this kill. He will murder him. It looks like you just shot the shit out of that sniper. That's not a good thing to be doing. He's your friend. Ooh. And you saw as well, shall I go down there? Gonna scope out the area. I should have brought a uh, specialist with me. You know, I should have been a little more careful about that. But honestly, I like the idea of just going for two snipers a turn. As crazy as that would sound. Did I just move my sniper? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. He's gotta go back. He's gotta go back there or he's not safe anymore. I didn't realize that was my sniper. That's my B, my B, B. I, I don't know what I was trying to say there, honestly. My BB? It's like a gun. But not. Okay, anyways. Allow us to move over here, sir. You have a shot. What can you do for me? The frag grenade. This would put us in a position that allows us to destroy his cover, and it also would scare the shit out of him, so I'm gonna throw this nade. Um, is that the best use of a grenade? No, however, I have a guy who can launch grenades, so I'm not necessarily worried about how well, um, we can utilize him. I'm just hoping this guy can actually get a shot. He can, and he will. Like, this guy could have probably just killed him. No, he wouldn't have. So, that grenade was useful. It guaranteed us that kill anyways, and I want to get this guy leveled up, because it looks like he can do the most damage, besides a uh, sniper with a good crit chance. Um, I'm going to just move both of my snipers right there, and I'm going to have these guys go in, and these snipers are literally going to fuck shit up this entire game. You will go on Overwatch, sir? You, sir, will move up a little. You have a shot. You do. I believe your Overwatch is more valuable for me. You shall go in on Overwatch. And you will... You need a reload. That ain't... That's the truth, yo. Now, can I still move you? I can. And I shall. And I shall. Now, if that alien decides to get anywhere close to these snipers, I have a strong feeling that they will kill him. Um, I have a strong feeling he will actually hit the shot. And he did! And he murdered him! Oh my god, this mission's going just all in our favor. He got a promotion, our snipers are murking everything and anything. That's a great term, I love that term, murk. Almost like mercenary? 
uh, with a irk to it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be ballsy here. I'm gonna move there. See what that does for us. If that pops anything, if that awakens any enemies. Okay, I shall move this guy here. There's that terrifying noise once again. Now, sniper, you have a shot. However, it is not a very good shot. I believe your overwatch is more valuable. You, sir. You can launch frag grenades. How can that benefit us here? Not at all. Not one bit. All right. So we put you on overwatch. This guy's in full cover. He should be okay. Uh, maybe the sniper gets a kill here. Or at least does enough damage, which sets us up in a situation. Or he just straight up murders the dude. Uh... I'm pretty sure he's at two health. Yeah, okay, we're good. Hopefully he doesn't do anything to harm our mission though. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's controlling my unit, of course. Why wouldn't he do that? Fifty-nine percent chance to murder a dude, it's worth it. Looks like the shot hits, looks like the shot kills, and it's a good one. Okay, so we need to either guarantee the kill on this other guy or move this unit back. We cannot guarantee the kill. This guy is at very low health, so we have to move him back. Um, or put him in a position in the f where he can attack the other guys in the future. I believe I'm going to move you over there. We're going to go for like a flanking type of situation, try and get you uh, in the side of the building and just accomplish a great deal here. Um... I really wish I knew whether that overwatch would hurt my unit or not. So you're just going to hunker down. Uh, because I'm trying to minimize the damage this guy's going to probably try and do to everyone here. Oh my god, you murdered one of your pals! Okay, I tried everything to avoid that. I knew that was going to probably happen. Um... If I had a specialist, that may or may not would have happened if he had a med kit. I think he would have died anyways. So that's unfortunate for us. It's very unfortunate. You shall... I believe this just gives you uh, experience anyways, right? So why not get the kill? And it did not kill him. Wonderful, wonderful. You, sir, you should get the kill then. Damn, you look angry, angry as hell. Hopefully we get this unit back so we can end this mission. I swear to God, if you kill another one of our units. Oh man, I was so worried there. Of course he has no ammo. Why would he? Okay. We need to kill that guy. You have a shot. You can't shoot because you just shot. Ah, uh, pisses me off. Oh wait, yeah you can. Kill him! Yes! We are victorious! Target eliminated. I believe that's all the aliens for the mission. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Staff we lost a unit. That's unfortunate. Hey, that was a quick mission. <laughs> hey, that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, <laughs> yes. I'm being very weird. Understand that. Uh, we do not need a speech today. We lost a unit by from one of our own units. That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, Mind Shield in the future might actually be an investment we need to look into. Because it seems to be the mind control problem is a huge issue in this game. We also need another unit. Um, and plus one to our party, as I would say. Um, because we need more people firing per turn. Uh, we don't need to be in a situation where we have two snipers and then two dudes on the ground and then one of them gets mind controlled and kills the other one. Is that kind of sucked?
Should have put that one dude in full cover. I think he was in full cover. Maybe not. That's unfortunate that he died because this sniper is getting OP already. Uh, lightning hands, your fire. I don't want that. Yes. Yes. More damage is always a good damage. Okay, you can launch a grenade now. And then you... I'm going to have you do the other stuff. Why not? Be a little different here. You got some sectoid corpses. Uh, we stopped some stuff. Hey, uh, I'm not going to end that episode just yet. Because I want to do a little experimentation before I end the episode. And uh, begin nothing. Uh, maybe we'll get magnetic weapons as well. And that'll be a great thing for us. Um... Okay, well, the next mission just popped up. Uh, so that means we got to end the episode then. <laughs> hey, everybody. I didn't give much life advice this episode. I didn't really talk about much. We just kind of... We were being ridiculous and we were making fun of those aliens. We are just being entertaining, as I would say. Uh, my advice to you today is to enjoy your Valentine's Day. Um... Uh, uh, well, this is coming out the day after Valentine's Day, but to just enjoy love in general, enjoy love. Uh, you may not be dating someone, but love is all around you. You just need to discover that love is a very powerful emotion, and if you can believe in love, as they would say in the Super Bowl, uh, you would accomplish much more with your life. You'd be less angry, and honestly, if you just stop looking at things so negatively, maybe your life and everything about it will change. I will tell you this. When I started beginning this whole positive reviewing of my life, and I just started saying, hey, everything's good. I don't believe in evil and humanity. That doesn't exist. And I will tell you this. I've rarely encountered situations where I've seen people just misbehave and just completely tread on someone else or just be evil. I don't encounter those things. I, I really don't see the bad in humanity. You, I, I keep an open eye on everything. Trust me. I... If I ever see someone get picked on, I stand up for them. I help them out. I help I support them. I don't like because I've been in that situation and I don't want someone else to feel that way because I know what it feels like. And I want to put an end to that. So I want you to keep in mind, if someone's different than you, you don't know their story. It is not your right to judge them. Just keep that in mind. You never know if that person could actually be a wonderful friend that could be very supportive for you. And change your life entirely. So with that note, I want to say thank you all for watching. Seriously, if it weren't for you all, I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't even give you that advice. But seriously, you are my friends. You are my viewers. You are my lovers. Uh, maybe not that last part. Seriously, thank you for watching. Seriously. You all have a great day. Peace out.